Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of the VP Guide, we're going to look at Starfield on the Xbox. Okay, first we're going to look at the basic settings. Okay, so if you want to enter the photo mode, you've got to pause the game and then you've got to press pause again, scroll down and then you enter photo mode. When you're in the photo mode, if you use the left and right analog sticks, you will move and rotate the camera around your subject. If you use the left and the right triggers, this will crane the camera. Craning moves the camera up or down as if it was on a crane in a film set. So if you have the camera high to low, that's good for creating a sort of panorama. If you have it low to high, that's good for making your character appear to be larger than they are, but you can't crane all the way down to ground level, not really tightly, so it's kind of not as effective as it should be. If you press the Y button, that will toggle the menu or the user interface, so that's good if you wanna get rid of everything off the screen, take your picture, or just see what's happening. If you click in the left analog stick, that will toggle your helmet on or off, because you might not want to have your helmet on because you know you might not be able to see your character's face. If you press the picture in picture button, this will reset the current category that you're looking at. So all of the settings within that category. If you press the A button, that will take your photo. Now this will save the photo within Starfield. Now, if you want to take a photo and save it on your Xbox um, like hard drive, or external drive how you capture, then you will need to press the screenshot button on your controller and then it will save it also on your Xbox. And then you can press the B button if you want to exit the photo mode and get back to the game. Okay, so those are the basic things. So the advanced settings are all broken down into tabs. To switch through these tabs, you can use the left and the right bumper button, like so. Okay, first tab is camera. So what have we got? So we've got camera type, so you've got free, orbital selfie selfie i think we all know what that does free lets you move the camera anywhere with no restrictions orbital is locked to your character so you can't move it as freely as you could in the other mode but you can rotate around the orbit of your character as if your character was a planet so you're orbiting field of view is the next one this is like where the position of the camera is so it's you think of it like a sort of a, a, a digital zoom i guess you could you could go in you could go out so it's good for getting closer shots or wider shots if you want to make small adjustments to your framing camera roll is next this is basically to tilt the camera why would you want to tilt the camera well you can do it if you want to do a sort of portrait orientation side on shot which is really awkward to do i wouldn't recommend other things to use for the tilting i would say creating dynamism, movement, or a surreal horror vibe. That's what it's quite good for. Then we've got depth of field on or off. Depth of field refers to how much is in focus. And then underneath it, we've got strength, near start, near plane, far start, far plane, and blend. Basically strength dictates how much is in focus and how much is clear. And all the stuff below it, like firstly, you can play around with these things, but they're not really good. The near and the far refers to the focus intensity at the near and the far points. The blend represents how much they're blended. I think this is a terrible focus system because it really shouldn't be this complicated. You should just have depth of field on or off. Where does the focus start and how much is in focus? That's all you need. All of this near, far, start plane rubbish this this makes doing focus really unnecessary complex and a pain in the backside not good okay the next tab is player so what have we got we've got show player on or off so you can have your character in the shot or not in the shot you might want to take a picture of the other characters you might want to take a picture of your ship you might want to take a picture of the game world so that's an option then we've got poses so you've got categories of which there don't seem to be many i don't know am i missing something but it always seemed to be standard wherever I was. But anyway, pose, you can choose the type of pose. You've got about seven or eight for variations. There's a couple of nice ones, but there's not any facial expression um, elements here. So it's kind of like you look like a sort of dead character with no expression on your face. Okay, next tab is lighting, brightness, saturation, contrast. So brightness, obviously, boosts the brightness of it. That's good to use in conjunction with contrast because contrast will often make things more dark. So it's using good for counterbalance, saturation, take it out, no color, add more, make it very pop arty. 
and obviously contrast. Contrast is good for definition just to make the difference between the light and the dark elements, making the image more profoundly stand out. Next tab is color, so we've got filter. Filters as in if you were on Instagram, if you were on whatever, you can add a filter over the image. And then we have filter intensity, so you may not want to use 100% of that filter. You might just want to use a percentage just to make it feel more uh, pleasant. Then we have vignettes. A vignette is a shadowy border around the image. The premise of a vignette is to draw your eye into the center of the photo. Thus, by darkening the boundaries, it should, in theory, make your eyes focus on the lighter central point. Then the next three things are texture related. So we've got the category of texture, we've got the texture itself, and we've got the intensity of that texture. So again, you can add textures. I don't think they're particularly very useful or good. They're not really textures. They're more like overlays. So yeah, I didn't really use these, but they're there if you'd like to play around with them. Next tab is frames. So we've got frame category and we've got the frame type. So there's a few categories and there's a bunch of frames again, if you want to create a mock magazine or you want to create a sort of mock cover art type thumbnail for the um, the game, your experience. If you're a YouTuber, these are great because you can nick some of these things and use them in your thumbnails. So the frames are quite good. The only other thing is photo gallery. So as I said earlier, when you press the A button to take your photo, the game will save that photo in the photo gallery, not on your Xbox hard drive within the game of Starfield. So here you can peruse them, you can look at them full screen and take the picture of them, you could delete them if you wish. So that, that's a good place to view all of the photos of your character's journey. And there you go, that's the photo mode. So, summary, it's got a good array of settings on the whole, nice varied in terms of the game. It's a nice game visually, there's lots of planets, lots of things to capture. And I'd say the controls are pretty user friendly for the most part, bad points, it deals with focus in a very complicated way that's really not necessary. There's no facial expressions and some of the settings don't seem to have a lot of options available. So like there's a lot of good here. There's also a few bad things that I think they can iron out with patches. So overall, good photo mode with a couple of issues, namely focusing. So overall, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because I think it is a good photo mode if you want to take pictures in a game. Um, and again, it's a, it's a quite a, a visually diverse experience, Starfield, so there's lots of potential to take some cool photographs. Okay, there you go. That is the photo mode guide for Starfield. I hope you found the guide helpful, useful. If you have any questions, please drop them below. I will do my best to answer them. Um, if there's other games you'd like photo mode guides for, check out my VP guide playlist because I've got lots in there. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. I will see you next time. Cheers.